How long have you had these? Uh, two years. And where did you get these? We got digs from the uh, Humane Society. Okay. He was a rescue. Okay, cool. Um, is, is there a story with him, or is there was he in a bad home? Or? Uh, no, they found the mom on the street, and um, uh, so they rescued the puppies. And I got him at Christmas time. His first name was. <laughs> so we needed to change that. So, so what, what's Deke's personality? Um, he's got a great personality, he's very happy, he has happy tail, and uh, he shakes all the time, yeah. and when he's excited, he wiggles, <laughs> so, but he's got a really, really great personality. How did you, how did you hear about Iron Pie? Um, through my daughter, Shannon. Okay, and so did she come here as well? Or? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Um, and then what made you decide to bring Deke here? Uh, well, we do obedience and we do no prayer. Okay. So, obedience just so he learns to listen and to behave, mm -hmm. um, but he loves to work. Okay. So, he would okay. rather work than do anything else. Right. So, we've interviewed people who like like last week, for instance, we talked to someone who wanted to have their dog be like a service dog. Right. Is there like an end goal for Deeks, or is it just... No, yeah. no he's just um, more of a festival dog. We want him to be able to go out in public right. and uh, have the kids come up and, you know, not be afraid and not freak the dog out. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, so more of a fun right. dog, right. But, but one that listens and behaves. Cool. Yeah. Um, and so you said you're doing nose work and the obedience? Yes. Okay, cool. And yes. then... So how long have you been going here? Um, oh gosh, I don't know, uh, a year and a half. Okay. How far along has he come? Like, how did he start, uh, and then how, where? Oh, is he he's now? doing great. Yes. He's, he's come a long way. Okay. Well, as a puppy, you know, it's like having a little kid. They just have no rules and they right. do whatever they want. Right. So, um, now he he listens, but he has um, different harnesses. Like he has a harness for right. nose work. And he has a special collar for obedience. Right. And he kind of behaves accordingly. Okay. Depending on which collar. That makes sense. Because he kind of knows what's going to happen yes. based on how yes. it feels. Interesting. Yes. That's pretty cool. Um, so, so basically, because you, so you had him. How old was he when you got him? Um, he was just a few months old. Okay. And so he just he was kind of just a puppy, and yes. then you started yes. coming shortly after, and he's right. just. And he went through puppy class, and then okay. he has his CGC, which is his good citizenship. Um, so he's kind of certified to go out in public and he's not freaked out by like umbrellas or quick movements or right. things like that okay. uh, because we don't want to pass it. Right. You know. So, so what, you said CGC? Mm -hmm. So what is that? It's, um, I don't know, canine good citizen uh -huh. um, and it's just a, a, it goes, they go through a class of okay. like obedience okay. and um, they just learn to be around other dogs and people. And have people come up and touch them. Right. And, uh, cool. so, so basically, you feel more comfortable knowing that yes. he's not yes. going to lash out because he's right. interesting. Right. Um, so. Since he, since he was a puppy when you got him, he wasn't necessarily a bad dog or like oh, no. disruptive or, or no, biting on no. anything or anything like that. Hold your thought for uh, a second. Yes. 